Hello, you are welcome to my channel. So today, we will be discussing on infections that require droplets. Precautions. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so. The infection chain involves the microorganism reservoir portal of exit from reservoir method of transmission portal of entry to the susceptible host and susceptible host. The microorganism can be a bacteria, viruses, fungi, and parasites. A reservoir is any person, animal, plan, soil or substance which has the infectious agent. The infectious agent depends on the reservoir for survival, where it can reproduce itself in such manner that it can be transmitted to a susceptible host. Portals of excit is the means by which a pathogen exits from a reservoir. For example, through blood, respiratory secretions, and anything exiting from the gastrointestinal or urinary tracts. Method of transmission is the means by which it leaves the reservoir to a susceptible host, for example, through contact, coughing, sneezing. Port of entry can be through a break in the skin, mouth, nostrils. A susceptible host is someone at risk of infection. Whether exposure to a pathogen results in infection depends on several factors related to the host, the pathogen, and the environment. Host factors that influence the outcome of an exposure include the presence or absence of natural barriers, the functional state of the immune system, and the presence or absence of an invasive device. Droplet precautions involve spread of infection by particle droplets larger than 5 micron s that can be generated when client coughs, sneezes, talks, laughs, PPE required for droplet precautions. For droplet precautions, person providing care should wear surgical mask if within about 1 meter or 3 feet of client. These precautions are used in addition to standard precautions, which is use of gowns, gloves, face shield and Google. Place client in private room if private room is not possible. Client may be cohorted with another client who has same infection, but no additional infections. Client should remain in room if transportation of client to other hospital departments is unavoidable. Client should wear surgical mask. Notify personnel in receiving department of client's infection. Door to room may remain open. Visitors should wear mask if within about three feet of client and should try to maintain a distance of about three feet whenever possible. Teach the patient to follow cough etiquette like covering their sneezes and coughs with disposable tissues and discarding the used tissues into a trash can. Teach them to always perform hand hygiene. Bacteria meningitis is an inflammation of the meninges that surrounds and protects the brain and spinal cord. It's caused by a bacteria infection and a life-threatening situation, and so a medical emergency. The main bacteria that cause meningitis are Streptococcus pneumonia, Haemophilus influenzae, Group B Streptococcus, Escherichia coli. Other bacteria includes Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Salmonella, Listeria, Streptococcus, and Staphylococcus. Trans, the route of transmission varies by organism. Most bacteria that cause meningitis, such as Meningococcus, Pneumococcus, and Haemophilus influenzae, are carried in the human nose and throat. They spread from person to person by respiratory droplets through coughing, sneezing, hissing. Group B streptococcus is often carried in the human 
gut or vagina and can spread from mother to child around the time of birth. Higher risk is seen when people are living in close proximity, for example at mass gatherings, in refugee camps, in overcrowded households or in student, military and other occupational settings, not being vaccinated, immunocompromised. According to the CDC, symptoms of meningitis usually emerge three to seven days after infection. Common symptoms of meningitis are neck stiffness, fever, confusion or altered mental status, headaches, nausea and vomiting, photophobia, and inability to tolerate noise, for babies being less active and difficult to wake, being irritable, poor feeding, stiff, or floppy body, swelling in the soft spot, in their head called the fontanelle. They may also have a rash that doesn't fade away when a glass is rolled over it. Serious signs and symptoms are septicemia which presents with cold, hands and feet, joint and muscle pains, breathing faster than usual. Complications are hearing loss, seizures, limb weakness, difficulties with vision, speech, language, memory, and communication, Diagnosis is by collecting a sample of cerebrospinal fluid by inserting a needle through the spinal space. Cloudy CSF indicates higher levels of protein, white and red blood cells and bacteria, and therefore may suggest bacterial meningitis. Glucose level in CSF is normally higher than that in blood. A lower value indicates bacterial meningitis. Another diagnostic test is blood culture, complete blood count and CRP. Another diagnostic test is blood culture, complete blood count and CRP. Lumbar puncture is contraindicated if there is a mass in the brain or there is an increase in intraclecarian pressure, as it can lead to brain herniation. A positive Echonix or Brudziski sign also indicates bacterial meningitis. In this procedure, the patient lysipine with the hip and knee flexed to 90 degrees with a positive Kearney sign. Due to pain, there will be limited passive extension of the knee and with a positive Brudzinski sign, flexion of the neck causes involuntary flexion of the knee and hip. Prevention Prevention is by vaccination with four types of vaccines that work against the various bacteria. The meningococcal vaccine is given at 11 to 12 years and at 16 years. Another preventive method is antibiotic prophylaxis with ciprofloxacin, hand, hygiene, and mothers at risk are administered intravenous penicillin during labor against group B in streptococcal infection. Mumps is a contagious viral disease that affects the salivary glands. Common symptoms include painful, swelling of the jaw, fever, tiredness, appetite loss and headache. Prevention is by getting vaccinated for mumps with the MMR or MMRV vaccine. CDC recommends children Receive two doses of MMR vaccine at 12 minus 15 months and at 4 minus 6 years old. Another preventive method is hand hygiene. It can take two to four weeks for signs of infection to show. It can be transmitted a few days before. The swelling begins to five days after the swelling and through direct contact with saliva or respiratory droplets from the mouth, nose or throat when an infected person coughs, sneezes or talks. People at risk are school children who share cups and water bottles as they may have saliva on them, those who participate in close contact activities like sports, dancing or kissing.
Complications are deafness, meningitis, mastitis, or chitis. The most common complication is inflammation of thetists, calidorchitis, pain, swelling, and warmness of a testis appear usually one to two weeks after the onset of paratitis but can occur up to six weeks later. Mumps deafness is often accompanied by symptoms such as vertigo and repetitive, uncontrolled eye movements. In the first trimester of pregnancy, mumps may increase the risk of miscarriage. Otherwise, mumps is not associated with birth defects. Humans are the only neural host to the virus. Because paratitis has other causes, laboratory diagnosis may be needed to verify mumps infection, so workup in places where mumps is less common. A real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction, antibody, titus or fluid, a throat swab or urine. Treatment is with painkiller, rest, as the immune system fights the infection. People who are infected should abstain from school, childcare, work, and crowded places. Pneumonic plague is an aggressive cephalung infection caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis. This bacterium is found in rodents and their fleas. Signs and symptoms are fever, headache, hemoptysis, weakness, and rapidly developing pneumonia with shortness of breath, chest pain, cough, which starts about two to seven days after exposure and may cause respiratory failure and shock. If no treatment is given, the patient can die within 36 hours. It progresses and can lead to respiratory failure and shock. To reduce the risk of death, treatment must be given within 24 hours of first symptoms. Transmission is by urban droplets from an infected person or animal. It can also be gotten when septicemic. Plague spreads into lung tis from the bloodstream. Treatment is with streptomycin, gentamicin, tetracycline acyclam. Antibiotic treatment for seven days is ASO given to people who have had direct, close contact with infected patients. Prevention is by avoiding contact with infected rodents, people, or cats as a vaccine is yet to be available. Scarlet fever, also known as scarlatina, is an infectious disease caused by group of streptococcus battery. It most commonly affects children between 5 and 15 years of age. It is transmitted when people who are ill with the bacteria coughs or sneezes. It can also be spread when a person touches an object that has the bacteria on it and then touches their mouth or nose. An infected individual is most likely to pass on the infection to another person. During the first two weeks, a child is no longer contagious after 24 hours of antibiotics. Signs and symptoms are fever or chills, headache or body aches, nausea or vomiting, sore throat and pain when swallowing, stomach pains. Signs of scarlet fever on the skin include a red rash that feels rough like sandpaper, brighter red skin in the creases of the underarm, elbow and groin, pale area around the mouth, skin peeling as the rash fades. Early in illness the sweetish coating on the tongue and later in illness strawberry or red and bumpy tongue. There's also red and swollen tonsils swollen lymph nodes in the front of the neck, tiny, red spots on the roof of the mouth, called petechiae, very red throat, white patches or streaks of pus on the tonsils. Complications When bacteria spreads to other parts of the body, it can lead to 
abscesses pockets of pus around the tonsils, arthritis, joint inflammation, e sinus, and skin infections, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, pneumonia. Treatment is with oral pen V is the first line of antibiotics treatment. It can also be treated with oral amoxicillin and first generation cephalosporin is used if the patient is allergic to penicillins and benzatine if the patient cannot take tablets dot dot ibuprofen is also prescribed for fever and throat pain the next is influenza also known as flu it's a common infection caused by influenza virus influenza B and C are found in human. Influenza C is primarily in children and causes a mild infection. The symptoms of influenza are similar to those of a cold, although usually more severe. The symptoms develop one to four days after exposure, which are fever, runny nose, sore throat, muscle pain, headache, coughing and fatigue. These symptoms can last for two to eight days. Pneumonia, acute respiratory distress, syndrome, meningitis, encephalitis are complications of influenza and also worsening of chronic medical conditions such as congestive heart, failure, asthma or diabetes spread mainly by tiny droplets made when people with flu cough, sneeze or talk. The transmission rate is high during the first three days of the illness and can be transmitted one day before symptoms occur till seven days after. Influenza infections are generally most common from June to September. Prevention is by vaccination, staying away from people who are sick, hand, hygiene, covering mouth when coughing. Seasonal flu vaccines do not protect against influenza C. Influenza virus evolve quickly, so flu. Vaccines are updated regularly to match which influenza strains are in circulation. Common sample collection methods for testing includes nasal and throat swabs. People at risk are younger than 5 years old, age 65 years, pregnant women, people living in a care home, heart, disease, kidney disease diabetes, asthma. It usually goes on its own, but antivirals are prescribed if you have had symptoms less than 48 hours or immunocompromised even 48 hours after. Pertussis, also known as whooping cough, is a human disease caused by the gram-negative bacterium Bordetella, pertussis. Transmission is usually person to person through respiratory droplets or contact with airborne droplets. Symptoms usually develop within 5 to 10 days after exposure. The first stage called catarrhal presence with coryza or runny nose, low-grade fever dot mild, occasional cough. The first stage called catarrhal presence with coryza or runny nose, low-grade fever dot mild, occasional cough. The second stage presence with .paroxysms of numerous rapid coughs, long inspiratory effort with a high-pitched hoop at the end of paroxysmal cough, cyanosis, exhaustion, vomiting, and the third stage presence with .gradual recovery, less persistent paroxysmal coughs there disappear into to three weeks. Investigation is done by nasopharyngeal swab or aspirate from everyone with suspected pertussis. During the first two weeks, sensitivity decreases after the first two weeks, which increases risk of false negative result. PCR can be done for up to three to four weeks following cough onset and serology for up to eight to 12 weeks. Infants and young children may experience serious and potentially life-threatening complication which includes apnea, encephalopathy, death, pneumonia, tumothorax, rectal prolapse, refractory pulmonary,
hypertension in infants, rib fractures, from severe coughing, seizures, convulsions, subdural hematomas, macrolides that is erythromycin, clarithromycin and azithromycin are preferred for the treatment of pertussis for babies one month of age. For babies less than one month of age, azithromycin is recommended. Trimethoprim sulfamethoxyl from two months and older. CDC recommends pertussis vaccines for infants and children, adolescents and people who are pregnant. Dot, dot, the recommended vaccines used in the USA are Tdap and DTAP. Five doses of DTAP are administered at two months. For months, six months, eight months, 15 to 18 months, and for through six years. A single dose of Tdap at 11 to 12 years of age. Pregnant women receive a dose of Tdap at 27 to 36 weeks. CDC recommends a booster dose of DTAP for every adult every after 10 years. DTAP covers against diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis. Another preventive method is hand, hygiene and post-exposure antimicrobial prophylaxis. Diphtheria is an infection caused by the bacterium Corymbacterium diphtheria. Symptoms begins with a sore throat and feverent when severe, a grey or white patch develops in the throat, which can block the airway and Create a barking cough similar to what is observed in croup. Other symptoms are foul smelling, blood stain discharge, cyanosis, difficulty breathing, painful swallowing. Symptoms start two to five days after exposure. Diphtheritic croup is a swollen neck and throat or bull neck, sometimes accompanied by a brassy or barking cough, strider, hoarseness, and difficulty breathing. It's transmitted when an infected individual coughs or sneezes. Prevention is with the diphtheria, pertussis, tetanus vaccine. Treatment is with diphtheria and a fantibo diacylated from the room of horses that have been challenged with diphtheria toxin. Late treatment increases risk of death. Respiratory obstruction may require require intubation or a tracheotomy. CDC also recommends either Mepronidazole, Erythromycin, Procaine Penicillin G. Rifampin or Clindamycin can be used for those allergic to penicillins. Adenovirus pneumonia is common in pediatric upper respiratory tract infection and easy to develop into severe WTH, a high mortality rate. It is transmitted through respiratory droplets when an infected person cough, sneezes, or tucking your nose, dot mouth after touching places that has the droplets. People who live in close quarters like dorms or nursing facilities are at a high risk of infection. Diagnostic results will present with emphysema in CT image, decreased leukocytes, and significantly increased C-reaction protein CRP and procalcitonin PCT, indicating the possibility of severe cases. Symptoms are cough, coryza, fever, sore throat, sometimes diarrhea and treatment is with antiviral medication Sidofovir. Prevention is by hand hygiene, avoid sharing utensils, avoid swimming in pools that are not well maintained. Clean children's toes regularly, to vaccine available is given only to members of the military who are hand. Increased risk of infection, it's not available to the public. For cytomegalovirus, 
a link of the videos in the description below. For Rubella, a link of the video is in the description below. Streptococcal pharyngitis is an infection of the pharynx. The symptoms include fever, sore throat, red tonsils, headache, nausea, vomiting, and enlarged lymph nodes in the front of the neck. Symptoms begin one to three days after exposure and last to seven to ten days. Coughing, nasal discharge, diarrhea, and red, irritated eyes are more indicative of a viral sore, throat and not a streptococcal pharyngitis. It's transmitted through respiratory droplets when an infected person talks, coughs, sneezes, sings, and touching surfaces that have the respiratory droplets. Crowded places increase the risk of transmission. Diagnosis is by throat culture. It mostly Go away on its own but however treatment is with antibiotics and pain, medication. Recommended antibiotic is amoxicillin, PEN-V, benzatine, erythromycin and other macrolides or clindamycin are recommended for people with severe penicillin allergies. A pine is admitted with a disease of mumps. What should the nurse do to prevent transmission? Dot dot A. Airborne. Droplet and contact precautions. Dot B. By wearing a mask. Gown. Gloves. Dot C. Putting the patient in a negative pressure room. Dot dot D. By wearing an N95 respirator mask. Gown. Gloves. The nurse provides home care instructions to the parents of a child hospitalized with pertussis, which statement by the parents shows an understanding of the DX. And my child got the disease from the cat. B. We must practice hand hygiene. C. The door of my child's room must be locked to prevent transmission. D. It's caused by a virus. An infant receives a DTAP immunization at a well baba clinic. Which education should be given to the parents in case of swelling and redness at the injection site? A. Give pain medication. B. Not to wearing as it is normal. C. Apply hot pack. D. 
apply cold pack dot dot. A sealed with rubella is being admitted to horse. The nurse should prepare for which precaution. A contact. B airborne. C protective. D droplets. What education should be given to the parents whose child is admitted for mums? Select all that applies. A encourage hydration and rest. B educate about hand washing. C C H L D should keep away from school until symptoms subside. D educate on vaccination. E give acetaminophen for pain. Which of the following is not one of the 
Symptoms of streptococcal pharyngitis. A. Cough. Dot B. Dot closing parenthesis confusion. C. Red tenils. 500. Conjunctivitis. Dot e headache. Arrange in order the chain of infection. Dot, 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 A the microorganism. Dot, B reservoir. Dot, C method of transmission. D portal of exit from reservoir. Dot, e susceptible host. Dot, F portal of entry to the susceptible host. Which of the following are true about infections transmitted through droplets? Dot, dot, a. The causative agents are always bacteria. Dot, dot, b. The causative agents are viruses and bacteria. Dot, c. The microorganisms can be bacteria, fungi, viruses, parasites. For droplet precautions, person providing care should wear a dot following PPE. 
Satar 99 mask if within about 1 meter of 3 feet of client. D surgical Mac. See gowns dot face shelf and Google if within 3 feet to patient. What is the average time for onset of symptoms after exposure to meningitis? A. 24 hours. B. 3 to 7 days. C. 5 to 10 days. D. 8 to 12 days. A patient is admitted with the following complaints, neck stiffness, fever, confusion or altered mental status, headaches, nausea and vomiting, photophobia and inability to tolerate nausea. A CSF analysis is done, which 1. Indicates a positive result to meningitis. A high glucose level in CSF. B. A low protein level. C. Cloudy CSF. When is lumbar puncture contraindicated? Select all that applies. Dot, dot, a meningitis. Dot, B brain tumor. Dot, C increased intracranial pressure. Dot, D less than 16 years old.
Which other diagnostic test is used to rule out meningitis? SATA.A urine analysis. B complete blood count. CCRP. The patient is asked to lie supine, with the hip and knee flexed to 90 degrees. There is limited passive extension of the knee. WHCH sign is indicated. Dot dot A. Brzezinski's sign. Dot B. Koenig's sign. A flexion of the neck causes involuntary flexion of the knee and hip, which sign is indicated. Dot dot a Brzezinski's sign dot b Koenig's sign. A child is brought to the emergency unit dot with red rash that feels rough like sandpaper. Brighter red skin in the creases of the underarm, elbow and groin. Pale area around the mouth. 
What diagnosis will you give for this patient? A-V-A-R-I-C-E-L-L-A.P-Measles.C-Scolet-Fever.D-Scabies What action should the next take first? A take vital signs. B provide a private room for the patient. C call the physician. D admit the patient in the medical neural war. Which precaution mode is used for this patient? A droplets precaution. B airborne precaution. C airborne and contact.
When should the child stop receiving? Droplets precaution. Dot dot a 24 hours after king antibiotics. Dot b after the rash fade away. Dot c 7 days after king antibiotics.